magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. It's a brand new day and uh, we thank the Lord for this uh, new gift na binigay niya sa atin. So, um, welcome to the uh, daily devotional here in Hills of Glory International Christian Center Incorporated. So, we will be talking about waiting upon the Lord. And uh, babasahin po natin yung dalawang verse na galing po sa Psalms. So, uh, this is written by King David. Dahil personally, alam na alam niya kung paano maghintay sa ating Panginoon. So, Psalms 27, 14, ang sabi niya, Wait for the Lord, be strong, and take heart, and wait for the Lord. And in Psalms 40, verse 1, ang sabi niya naman dito, I waited patiently for the Lord, and He inclined to me and heard my cry. So doon sa dalawang verse na nabasa natin, actually may dalawa tayong uh, word na dapat tandaan. To be strong and to be patient in waiting upon the Lord. So itong dalawang verse na to, ang nagsasabi sa atin kung ano yung mga dapat nating gawin. No? Or what are the characters that we need to imply pagka tayo ay nagkakaroon ng moment of waiting or season of waiting upon the Lord. So I know that this um, topic is personally uh, sa bawat isa at uh, sa akin din dahil ako po ay uh, may struggle sa waiting. So uh, I admit na uh, it's hard for me na mag-wait, no? lalo na sa pila. Sino ba naman may gusto ng traffic? So sino ba naman may gusto ng pila? So, pag minsan kasi, pagka ikaw ay uh, nasa waiting uh, period no? or nasa isang waiting na lugar, uh, kailangan mo mag-drawing o kailangan mong mag-offline uh, game para to survive that moment. <laughs> so, uh, with our technology and our apps nowadays, no? lalo na yung mga, like yung grab, yung grab for example, di ba dati, mamumuti ka sa paghihintay, no? mamumuti ka sa pagkaway sa mga, mga sasakyan para makasakay ka lang, Pe, tapos puno pa. Pero ngayon, ang gagawin mo lang dun sa apps na yon, uh, ilalagay mo lang kung saan ka pupunta, and then anong oras ka aalis. And then right there and then, no? uh, meron ng driver na magpipit sa'yo. So, ganun na kabilis ang technology na yon, even sa Shabby, even sa anumang klase ng apps na napapadali ang lahat. And so, ang nangyayari, nagiging impatient tayo. So, umiikli yung ating pasensya. Now, if we will uh, look to the inability, no? inability to wait. Ito yung nag-cause ng maraming problem sa ating buhay. So our inability to wait can cause us uh, so many problems in life. Like, uh, pag you are unable to, ano, no? to delay gratification, this causes death. Kung hindi mo pa afford, tapos binili mo na, syempre, ilalagay mo sa utang, and then, nagkakaroon ka ng problema. And maybe this may cause some problem, hindi lang sa'yo, hindi lang personal, pati sa mga tao, no, na sa pamilya mo, for example. And also, some diseases um, may, may be brought about by the inability to delay sexual gratification. Those things, these uh, issues na meron kang gusto at gusto mo na ngayon, yan yung nagkakos ng mga utang at mga problema. So, napaka-importante no? na magkaroon tayo ng patience or yung ability na makapaghintay. It may be frustrating na maghintay ng answer kay Lord, uh, pero if you are looking for ano, no, an opportunity, a door of opportunity, a job uh, opportunity, or maybe waiting for an answer to a prayer, or clarification, or new direction, no? hinihintay mo si Lord na malif yung pain, or maybe uh, i, i, ano niya, iayos niya isang relationship. So kung you are in a waiting room of God, so there are things that you should remember. First of all, we must know that in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11b, God does everything just right on time. So kita natin, no? Kahit nagmamadali tayo sa answer na gusto natin, we will not be answered immediately. Dahil alam ng Diyos yung tamang time. And, but people can never completely understand what He is doing. So, there are things that we should remember when we are in 
waiting to bud. Now, number one, remember that there is a natural delay between planting and harvesting. Remember na hindi mo naman talaga ma ngayon mo tinanim, tapos ngayon mo aanihin, no? So, di ba, yung rice and corn, our ano, no, most, uh, parang ito yung lagi natin tinatanim dito sa ating uh, province, meron siyang 120 days na growth duration. Sa, yun yung in between planting at saka yung harvesting. So, there is a natural delay, tatandaan natin, that in planting and harvesting, merong uh, talagang magkakaroon ng delay bago ka it's but natural na maghintay ka. So in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1, there is a time for everything no? and a season for every activity under heaven. And uh, number two, remember that there is unseen battle going on in the spiritual realm. Tatandaan natin na uh, we are is struggling no? not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil with the heavenly realms. And we know that uh, because of this, there are some uh, dark or arrows of doubts and delay na dapat nating uh, pagtagumpayan. No? Kaya nga, be strong eh, while you are waiting. And uh, ni-reveal din sa, sa book ni Daniel, chapter 10, no? verse 11 to 12, ito yung time na nag si Daniel and because God is acknowledging him as one who is uh, no, no, in, intended to uh, study and uh, to fear the Lord and humble dun sa kanyang, sa kanyang paniniwala sa Panginoon. So, right then and then, pinakinggan siya ng Diyos. But remember, na may dumating na anghel sa kanya, sinabi sa kanya, na yung kanyang prayer na rinig nga, pero ang nangyari, nagkaroon ng battle no? against uh, the king of Persia. And then, tinulungan lang siya ni uh, Michael, no, the archangel, para uh, mapagtagumpayan niya yung battle, para magkaroon siya ng breakthrough at makarating kay Daniel yung sagot. So, hindi nabanggit lahat ng Bible ang mga secrets na to, pero meron siya ni-reveal that there is a war in the spiritual realm. Okay, so third is remember God is preparing me for His blessing. Remember na ang Panginoon meron siyang binubuong character sa atin. So that is why uh, parang kailangan mag-wait talaga tayo sa mga prayers, sa kasagutan ng prayers natin. Because yung, yung waiting is a test of our faith, of our trust and character. I'll be reading 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 6 to 7. In all this, you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief of all kind of trials. And verse 7, this has come so that the proven genuineness of your faith of great worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus is revealed. Waiting is always a test of our faith, of our trust, and of our character. So, um, number four, Second to the last, remember that I'm in a good company when waiting on God. And uh, alam po natin na lahat po ng heroes of fame sa Hebrews 11, no, naghintay sila. And all of the Bible characters na alam natin na uh, natanggap nila yung prayer nila, uh, like Hannah, no, ang tagal niya po hinihintay si Samuel. Si Joseph, ang tagal no, na napunta sa kanang kamay ni Pharaoh. So, galing siya doon sa uh, slavery, hanggang sa nagkaroon siya ng uh, problema at naputo siya sa prison and all, and naghintay pa po siya ng matagal bago na alala nung cupbearer yung kanyang ginawang interpretation ng dream. And David, of course, no, ang tagal po niya, uh, from the moment na na, na anoint siya as king of Israel hanggang sa naging king siya. Uh, may account na about 20, more than 20 years. So, Kaya po ba natin maghintay ng gano'n? And uh, we know that these persons are all men and women of faith. So number five, remember, God is always keeping His promise. In Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. 
though it lingers, wait for it. Sabi niya, wait for it. And it will certainly come and will not delay. So, in conclusion, as we wait to the Lord, the Lord transformed us into a person of growing faith. Remember, David, he was called a person no, after God's own heart. So, nangyari po yon because he learned to wait upon the Lord. And so, as we wait upon the Lord, remember that be strong and take courage and wait upon the Lord. Well, let's pray. Father God, we thank you and glorify you. We honor you dahil alam po namin, Panginoon, na ikaw ang gumagawa ng lahat ng bagay. Maybe we are in a waiting room right now, but thank you for strengthening us because we know that strength comes from you. And we believe, O oh God, that upon your time, yung tamang time, Panginoon, na inalag mo, everything will happen and everything will be possible in your very own time. And so we entrust to you everything. Give us this courage and this strength. And uh, we bring back to you all praises, honor, and glory. This we ask.